Wait, is he really saying he built his own course platform? Yes, friends, today is going to be a very special day. Just about six months ago, I decided that I want to embark on this front-end educator journey full-time. But I am not any social media celebrity or whatever, so YouTube isn't paying me the big bucks yet. I decided that I needed to do things just a little bit different. So the start of that was that I released Frontend FYI Pro. With FYI Pro, you are getting paid videos as well as Discord access for 99 euros. But what I also promised is that there would be even video courses. So that means for 99 euros, which is still the price available today for one more week, you are getting access to all of the courses that I will release ever because it's a lifetime price. And today is finally that day introducing you to, drum roll please, introducing you to Frontend FYI courses. Damn, that was awkward. But it's finally time to share it with you. For the past six months, I've been working tirelessly and boy, did I underestimate what would be involved to build this. Especially because I also wanted to live on the bleeding edge of front end. And if you follow me along in my newsletter or on social media, you probably see me complain about this a little bit in some places. But eventually I managed to go live a little bit less on the bleeding edge and build that course platform that I envisioned. Because I've of course looked around to find any existing thing out there that I could use, but I thought, no, nothing is the way that I would like to teach code. So that's when I set out to build my own custom platform. And that platform is released today. The first three modules of the very first course that are part of that platform have also been released today. And that course is all about frame remotion. And inside that course, we will start with zero. We will dive into the basic APIs that frame remotion offers, start to create really small examples, and then build up towards combining multiple of these APIs and start building more and more advanced stuff. Until we end up building complete pages and big components, just like you're used to from my YouTube videos as well. But of course, you can export the curriculum yourself. So in this video, I mainly want to focus on what the platform brings you and what the future plans are, because there are many. So let's take a brief look at the platform that I've built, because I am super proud of it. So as soon as you go to a specific lesson, this is what you end up with. There is a brief introduction. Also, there is a progress bar, of course, because you need to know how far you have completed your lessons. And if you keep on scrolling, there is the curriculum that starts to appear. The whole course is split into modules, of course, where every module has a specific topic. And right now, I have released the very first three modules of this course, where we dive into some of the basic APIs that Framework Motion has. But of course, it's not only text, it's not only video, it's both, and it's way more than that. Let's take a look at the About the Platform lesson, which is, of course, also something that's a lesson that is available for free, so you can watch this yourself as well. But on there, you see an example of the lesson page. On this lesson page, of course, there's always a video that's attached to the lesson as well that dives into the same topics as the text below, but also sometimes tends to dive just a little bit deeper into specific topics. But then the biggest part of this platform is the custom built playground. Because come on, we're working with code here. I can't show you any static snippets. I need to show you live examples and also give you the ability to play with the code yourself. So in here, you see the live playground that we will be using. This live playground is an editor that you can just, you can go into full screen mode and just build the exercise yourself. There's also auto saving. So if you make any change, it's saved to the cloud automatically. So if you refresh the page or come back on a later day, everything you worked on is still there, which of course is super important if you made something really, really fancy. And also in the future, I even want to give you the option to share a link to this playground or the end result of it. So you can also share this with the outside world because you're proud of the work you made, even if it's part of an exercise. Of course, there's way more in this playground as well. I made sure that you can resize everything so you can make the editor the way you like it. You can go into full screen preview mode if that's what you want. There is a console in here that shows you the error so you don't need to pop open your dev tools. You can refresh. There is line wrapping if you want. There is even Tailwind in here that you can use, but if you don't like Tailwind, you just go to the styles.css file and you can add any class names on there. That will also work. And I think this playground is a really important addition to the platform itself. And if we then quickly switch over to the seventh lesson of the second module, which is also available for free, by the way, you can see how the more advanced lessons look like. We, of course, explain something with text, but you also see that there's these live playgrounds that visually show what we're talking about and even, again, give you the option to play 
around with it. Also, you notice this green arrow here. That means that you didn't touch this playground yet and there's nothing saved into the cloud. So this also gives you an indication of whether you're looking at the original version or not. But then if you keep on going, I try to really explain everything the best I can and we really go step by step. And that also means that, for example, there's multiple of these playgrounds in here showing you again step by step how we use a very small API and add on top of it and how the different APIs work together. But also, if we would go into different modules, you'll, for example, see that here we are explaining the use transform hook of Frame Remotion. And it can be a little bit confusing as to what the different arguments of this hook are, because there are three, and what then the result is. So therefore, you also find these interactive widgets where you can simply change something and then you see what the the new hook value would be and what the result and opacity would be. So this way you have a more visual way of starting to learn and explore and hopefully it's a way to more easily remember how these things work. And one other feature that I think is a really interesting way to learn are these very small quizzes. They simply help you to take a guess beforehand and start to think about what the answer would be. And you don't need to have all of them right at first, but it simply helps you to build a mental model to start thinking about these solutions instead of only reading and maybe still not fully understanding them. So you also throughout the course find these different quizzes that ask you to take a guess, which means that you don't know the answer probably yet, but help you to again start thinking about these topics. And these few things only scratch the surface of what this platform is able to be or what this platform is going to become in the future, because I still have many great ideas to make this platform even better. But of course, we need to release a version one, and that's what this version is. So for next week, you're still able to buy Frontend FYI Pro for 99 euros, after which the price will go up to 149 euros. And from that point on, the price will keep increasing because I will keep on making new and amazing content. So if you ask me, even only for the Frame Remotion course, this is already worth its money. There's even already a few reviews of people that say they had high expectations, but the content even blew them away. And that to me, that's so great to hear because I gave my everything for the past few months to make this work and finally see people use it and being excited about this makes me so happy. So with that out of the way, I would really love if you joined Frontend FYI Pro because it also enables me to keep on making more amazing content, both paid as well as free, because YouTube won't go away. And then finally, if you're still around here, I guess you're really interested in my adventure. So I have one more question to you. I am thinking about starting to make a very small podcast, a podcast where I simply talk to you about what I did in the past week or maybe weeks, the issues I encounter building this business, building this platform and all of these kind of things. So so more of a behind the scenes look, I guess. And I would really like to know if you're interested in that and if you would listen to that. Because like I said, for the past six months, I have worked very hard on this platform, but I share a little bit on Discord as well as Twitter, but not that much. And I think creating a podcast could be something that's really interesting because people are really interested in what I'm building. So that's all that I have for you today. Next week, I will be back with a regular type of video. But for today, it would mean the world to me if you supported me and bought from the FYI Pro. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Please subscribe and leave a like if you didn't do that yet. That means a lot to me as well. And then I will talk to you in the next video.